Hi everybody, welcome to Live Blogger. In this video, I'll show you how to add this masonry layout gallery to your blogger website. So this is a masonry gallery that we created from scratch in the previous video using HTML and CSS. And this is how it works. We can see that we have all these images over here. And when we hover over this, uh, we have the title of the images being displayed. And when we click on any of these images, we have the image displayed in a light box and we can go to the next or the previous images and then we can just close the image from here or just clicking outside the light box. So we created this from scratch in the previous video so I will leave the link of that video in the description and I'll also leave the link of the source code in the description so that you can just copy and paste it. So let's get started. <laughs> Right here I am in my blogger dashboard so let's go ahead and create a new post and uh, let's add a title and we'll just type masonry gallery now first of all you need to make sure that you are in the HTML view so if you are in the compose view you can go over here to this button and click on HTML view and then you need to copy the HTML of this gallery so let's go to the source code so we have to just copy everything inside the body so I'll just copy everything from here the start of the division with the class of gallery container and uh, we'll copy it till the end of the division right here all right let's copy this and paste it over here all right now that we have copied the HTML we also need to change uh, the link of the images so in our blogger website we don't have this uh, images folder so we have to first of all upload the image somewhere and then add the link over here now there are several ways to add the images uh, to these uh, anchor tags and image tags. So you can just upload the image by clicking on insert image and then uploading the image and then you can copy the href from there and paste it over here or you can upload your image in any other hosting server and uh, just get the link of the image and paste it over here. I'll just upload all the images uh, right here. So I'll just make some space over here and I'll just click on insert image and uh, then click on upload from computer and then click on choose files so here I'm in my project where we have this images folder so let's select all these images and I will just click on open now all these images are not optimized to the maximum so you can go ahead and optimize your images to your best now it would be even better if you have different images for the thumbnails so all these images right here are full-size images and we don't need those full size images for the thumbnails so you can have tinier images for the thumbnails and uh, these images you can use for the actual anchor tag but for now I'm just using one image for everything so I'll just select all of these and then click on select and we'll just select the original size and uh, just click on OK all the images have been uploaded over here and we can see the link of the image right here so we have this anchor tag and in that we have the link of the image so here we have the first image so let's copy this and paste it in place of the first image right here and if you have a different version for the thumbnail you can add that right here but uh, I'll just add the same link now in the same way I'll just update all these links over here all right so I have updated the links of all the images so now we can just go ahead and delete all this code from here and that's it with the HTML now let's go ahead and click on publish and confirm all right so our post has been published now let's go ahead and add the CSS so let's go to theme and let's click on this arrow and click on edit HTML and let's scroll down and reach the CSS so this is all the CSS of the theme let's scroll down and uh, go to the end of the CSS so this is the end of the CSS now let's add a comment right here so here I just type masonry gallery and let's add the CSS right here so let's go back to our code and let's go to style.css and uh, we'll just copy everything from here and paste it right here now here we have used a font family called Roboto now if you don't have this font in your theme then you have to go over here to the top in the head section you have to add the link of the font but in my theme we already have the font Roboto so here we can see the font Roboto is being displayed over here so I'll just go ahead and add the links of the libraries 
So let's go back to index.html and if you scroll up, we need to add the jQuery link and the lightbox CSS and JS links. So let's copy all of this from here and paste it in the head section. So we'll just paste it right here. All right, so now let's save the theme and we can see it says update successful. Now let's go back to the dashboard and uh, let's go to posts and uh, let's click on view post and we can see that our masonry gallery is being displayed over here just as we wanted. Let's hover over this and see whether the titles are being displayed. So we can see the titles are being displayed correctly and let's click on any of these images and we can see that the light box is also being displayed correctly. So everything is working all right. Let's click on close. And we can see that one more light box is being displayed over here. So we have to click on close over here as well. So that's because Blogger also has a light box by default. So let's go back to the dashboard and let's go to settings. And if you scroll down, we can see that uh, we have this option over here called image light box. Let's turn that off. And now let's test it once more. Let's click on an image and uh, let's click on close. And now we can see that we don't have the other light box being displayed. So that's basically how you add a masonry gallery to your blogger website. I will leave the link of the source code in the description of this video. And if you want to learn how to create this uh, masonry gallery from scratch, I have a video on that. You can watch that. I'll leave the link of the video in the description as well. So that's it for this video. If you have any doubts, you can ask in the comments below. And if you like this video, please click on the like button and subscribe to this channel to get the latest video updates. Thanks a lot for watching. Have a nice day.